Bit ball movement. Time for basketball from Carbondale. This place is packed. First possession home team. Xavier Johnson, fourth best score in the nation. What a score and a story he's been. 23.1 points a game. Rupert we talked about. A lot of curl for Johnson, but lost the handle. Takeaway for the Cowboys. And a hammer. What a start. Keon Williams, the sophomore. A couple of 10-plus rebound games for him with the steal and slam. Everything revolves around number 10 and white. A little air taken out of the building. D'Amico through traffic. No finish. Tipped up. Rupert we'll a hand on it. And a fresh 20 here for the Salukis. D'Amico from Chicago. Baseline. Hangs and hits. Tough shot. Good play there by D'Amico. And I think that's what we talked about with the Oklahoma State is consistency. The first possession, you get a steal against Xavier Johnson. Second possession, you mess up a switch. A man's basket there for Javon Small. Absorbs little contact and finishes with a nice floater. Averaging 16 points a game. Tops on the pokes with 13 threes. Free throw shooting outstanding. He's having a big all Big 12 type here in the non-con. A player to watch once Big 12 play starts for sure. It's a good play here, fighting over the screen Williams is, gets back in front, anticipates the crossover, and gets a slam there. And good thing about Oklahoma State is they have a lot of big body guards that they can throw at Xavier Johnson. Johnson, a little too fancy there for Brown. And Trent Brown, the guard, the grad student, fifth year at SIU, couldn't handle that pass. Physically, as we saw Trey, in shooting rounds today, it's a different team different makeup between the Cowboys and the Salukis. Coaching will be key tonight. Johnson will be key tonight for the home team. Yeah, I think tempo is going to be a big thing in this game as well. I think if you're Oklahoma State, you want to push the tempo, utilize your athleticism, and if you're the Salukis, you want to get in the half court and run good offense. Brandon Garrison, McDonald's All-American, passing the baseline, taken away by Johnson. Rupert across the timeline here. Now the Salukis get another possession. Good rotation defensively for SIU. The mismatch here with the four guarding Johnson. He's quick. Can't finish off the glass. Garrison a rebound for Javon Small. Small pump fake. Williams had the early dunk. Let's get past. Here's Thompson's first death of the night. A back iron miss. Garrison. Weak side rebound. Top of the key jumper. Missed there for Daly, the lefty. Battle to Miko. Williams finds the handle. Want to for the visitors from Stillwater. And Eric Daly will head to the free throw line to shoot two here. What we see here, SIU is doubling the post. And so anytime you double the post, that leaves you vulnerable for offensive rebound. Oklahoma State doing a good job not just watching. And anytime you're on offense, you either have to get back or crash the glass. You don't ever want to stand watching Oklahoma State doing a good job clashing the glass there. Johnson partner picks up his first foul. The lefty Daly, one more free throw here. All right, Daly, a double-double against Clayton. First of what Cowboy fans hope will be many. 13 points, 11 rebounds. Bad stretch for Oklahoma State against the Blue Jays of the Big East. An elite 18 from last year. Last six minutes, first half, they just got absolutely smoked. 18-point deficit at halftime, they couldn't come back. But he said we learned a lot from that game. Yeah, and it's, it's a matter of consistency, playing every possession. It could be challenging for young guys to understand the value of each possession. Johnson physical. Chris Brown. Ten of the timer. Rupert, left low block, at strip. Thompson saw it, read it. Can't finish in the other end, though. Scrap, basket, two more. And that's what we talked to Coach Mullins about before the game is live ball turnovers. Being a little bit sloppy with the basketball against a team with great athleticism. You have to be sharp. Daly to finish. Johnson out of the rand. No layup. Surprising miss. Gets tangled there with Garrison and commits his second foul. And that is big. Two already for the nation's fourth leading score. Be interesting to see what Coach Mullins does here. What would you do? 
Then you got to take him out for a little bit as we see sub coming in. But one thing, Oklahoma State has to do a better job of forcing Johnson to his left. He had a straight line drive there. Fortunate that he didn't come up with that finish. Offensive foul. And right back to the Salukis. Yvonne Stewich, grad student, will come in here and replace Xavier Johnson. Stewich, the transfer from Little Rock, and originally from Serbia. So we'll keep an eye on that. 16.25 to go here, partner. First half, Johnson takes a seat. Yeah, I think Stewich and Brown are the X factors. I think they're in really good position when those two guys are hitting six threes combined, or five threes even combined. Opens up everything for Xavier Johnson and Rupert. Mike Marsh in the game. First time for Oklahoma State. Long three to Miko. Top of the key. Can't click. Off the back iron. Here's Small. Checked by Kennard Davis. Oklahoma State will try to take advantage of that matchup. Through traffic shot. Way off the mark. Keon Williams not close to Miko. Finds the loose change. And here comes Southern. Thompson gets physical. Shoulder bump with Troy D'Amico. And Bryce Thompson picks up his first foul of the game. See here, Williams with the slam. TBS Sports Ain't nothing but a hound dog. That's, that's the one I do know. <laughs> cool history in this building, though. Cool start, Oklahoma State on the road. Now rebounding the home team 6-2 to the first media timeout. Johnson, nation's fourth. Leading score out two early fouls. D'Amico. Good ball movement, 10 to shoot, pass for Brown. Whistle off the ball, foul call. Looks like Scotty Abube. 275-pound redshirt sophomore. And 6'11 has had a lot of foul trouble when he gets in the game. For Brian Mullins, picks up his first. That was the big talk at the shoot around today. How long would it take when he got in the game to pick up a foul? Small, good feed. Down low, better finish. And on that play there, Davis just got nailed on the screen. You get nailed on the screen, you got to call an emergency switch. Try to get back. Small, a great passer, finding his big for the finish. Mike Marsh, first basket off the Cowboy bench. 14 points, 6 9 shooting against Houston Christian earlier this year. And Bube at 6 11 back in, but no finish. Too strong. Marsh really harassed him on the way to the basket. What a start here for Oklahoma State. Starting off a tough game against Creighton. Illegal screen call, top of the key. That's going to be against Marsh. Good job there by Brown fighting over the screen. As you see here, just a little bit of movement there by Marsh. Just enough to provoke the officials to call that offensive foul. 7-0, Cowboy run. Scoring drought at about 4.30 now for the Salukis. And Johnson's off the bench, partner. They're come back in the game for Southern Illinois. I think it has to be D'Amico who they play through right now. It's the third time they've thrown the ball down low. And Bube battles and finishes. Good one to Scotty Abube from Mundelein, Illinois. His first basket off the Saluki bench. Small ones to show. For Myron Keller, a freshman of the game. For Mike Boynton now. Daly. Front iron. Over the back call. Good battle with D'Amico. at perfect box out position on the defensive rebound. And the first foul on Eric Daly Jr. You know, one of the things watching film on Oklahoma State as we see Xavier Johnson checking into the game is they could do a much better job of being sharp with their cuts. I don't always believe that the Cowboys cut hard on every single possession. And that's how you create advantages on your off-ball movement. Cutting hard, setting up your cuts, being able to work over those ball screens and create. So Johnson, early two fouls, sat out just over two minutes. Trying to create here offensively. In the corner, deep shot, Stulich. The lefty from Serbia buries a deep triple. He's got 12 three balls this year. That's how you get right back in the game for Brian Mullen shooting the three. Small, fancy pass for Marsh. 
Keller in trouble. Thompson watched by Stulich. Not close, deep shot, but Abube couldn't handle it. And it goes out of bounds. Cowboys keep the ball here. It seems like the Salukis have really woken up on the defensive end. All five guys are connected, showing why they're the second best defensive team in the Missouri Valley Conference. Even though they're a little bit undersized, they're extremely physical at all five positions, able to fight through screens, defend the paint. Small out for now. Garrison has returned. Same for Jarius Hicklin. First time appears here for Oklahoma State. Keon Williams, 10 of the timer, banks at home. Second Not a smart goal. play there by D'Amico. Try to go for the steal. You got to understand that Williams is a driver. So if you put yourself out of position, that gives him a straight line drive. And Williams doing a good job of taking advantage of it. It's about watching film, partner, right? It's on the scout. Absolutely. Every player's tendencies. Here we're up top. Fryer miss, deep three. Rebound for Hicklin. Third stop for him. Steele, Stulich off the glass, way too strong. And Hicklin, nice hustle. He's got it back. Here comes Williams through traffic again, lays it up too strong, but the roll. And it was the hesitation, kind of faked his eyes to the corner. The defender jumps, opens up the lane, and a good finish in the paint. Half a dozen for Williams to lead the way. Oklahoma State looking for a road game, a road win. Johnson trying to get going here is foul on the way to the basket. So you see here, a little fake. Johnson jumps. That opens up the lane completely in transition. Good job there, elevating to the basket. Nothing that D'Amico can do, getting the tough finish. You got Williams' only Cowboy to start all games so far this year, all seven leading him to game eight. So Johnson the free throw line. Two fouls, but no points. The transfer from George Mason, who's had a spectacular season so far. First point of what Saluki fans hope will be many tonight. Tops in the Valley and scoring 23.1 points a game. Trey Miller out for now for the home team. National leader starting the week. Tyler Thomas of Hofstra from the CAA, 25 points a game. Xavier Johnson is good as any guard in the country, and he's a smart player. You know, just understands when to get his teammates involved, understands when he needs to take over basketball games, doesn't really force a lot, takes what the defense gives him. You know, in that last possession where he drew the foul, it's a little Stagger screen on the weak side. He refuses it, goes to his strong right hand, and draws the foul. 52 of 56 this year, by the way, from the free throw line. Automatic. Something Mike Boyd told us today during a shooting round. We've got to keep him away from the line and not foul Xavier Johnson. Keon Williams, wow, fancy spin move. Gets the return pass right of the paint. Here's the back in on Brown. Five to shoot. Garrison. Shot clock violation. Great half court defense. Southern Illinois. And the fans love it here in Carbondale in a big matchup tonight with the Big 12 team. A game of honor. The Army Navy game. And, you know, this is a very good league. It's a competitive league. And one of the stats to show that is only 13 power conference opponents have visited Missouri Valley Conference opponents in the last 10 seasons and none since 2019. So teams are not afraid or are afraid to play Missouri Valley po opponents on the road. They don't want to come here for good reason. Rupert wow. the handle, right low block, tennis shoot, spin move, no finish. A tough shot with the left off the glass, a miss. Loose ball picked up Kennard Davis, but had it swatted away. Transition defense, fantastic. Oklahoma State Garrison stayed home and had the swat. Yeah, good job of making up for the turnover. And once again, just young players just learning to value each possession through a turnover out of an outlet pass. Just keep it for an extra second and find your guard. Johnson step back. First of the night, first field goal that is for Xavier Johnson, 23.1 points a game. Coming off a 31-point effort 
against St. Louis. Second 30-point game of the year for him. Crowd involved again here in Carbondale. Here's Small for three. Response for the Cowboys. And that's the second time that Davis has gotten hung up on that screen. If the ball screen is that high on the floor, the bigs have to do a better job of calling underneath. But the worst thing you can do is get nailed by that screen, especially against a talented guard like Small. Brent Brown, a player to watch from three as well. Shoots 53%, is at 18 from beyond the arc. Johnson right of the paint is bumped. So tough to handle in the open court defensively. And foul on John Michael Wright, the grad student, transfer from High Point. And Ryan, one of the things that a lot of teams are trying to do with Xavier Johnson is keep him on the left side and force him left. Johnson doing a good job there, faking, getting back to his strong right hand and drawing the foul. See, they're going to ice this ball screen. Johnson step back again. Almost a chance for a four-point play. Does have three free throws coming up. Bump from beyond the arc, and one of the nation's top free throw shooters heads back to the stripe to shoot three here for Southern Illinois. And on that play, Johnson shows that he's going to his left as they send the ball to the baseline. Then a quick crossover before the defense can cut him off. If you're right there, you got to do a good job of keeping him on that left side and not huge, allowing him to get back. To huge right -hand. numbers, partner. Check it out for Xavier Johnson. When we talked to him today. He said, I was absolutely ready this year to step up, scoring seven points a game last year, but so much talent gone from last year's team. Marcus Damask, Lance Jones transferring, Illinois, Purdue, Big Ten. And they would talk with. Head coach Dan Brian Mulls about that and said they graduated. They played four years here. It's okay. You want to send them off with a chance to play in the Big Ten. They're having big roles, by the way. Yes. As they go up to the Big Ten Conference. So now it's Johnson's turn to shine as the star here in Carbondale. It's quite a story. Five for five from the line, by the way. Small, nice take for two. Celebrates afterwards, he gets teed up. Maybe too much celebration. It's one of those ones, competitive juices flowing. And a good job there by Small attacking the body of Johnson, who has two fouls. And that's a tough cover for Johnson with two fouls, being a little bit undersized as well. You know, Davis not quite ready to guard him, so it's going to have to be Johnson to try to slow Small down. Guess what? Another free throw. Six for six already for Xavier Johnson. And that's the worst thing if you're an opposing team playing against a lethal score, is allowing him to see the ball go through the basket two more times. That rim just gets wider and wider. 26 points a game for the grad student from Germantown, Maryland, outside ball. It's one of the last four for SIU. Spectacular. And heating up after two early fouls. Here's Johnson. D'Amico saves it baseline for Brown, thinking three. Hands it. Trent Brown for me. And his as first three. And as Johnson scores, the defense is going to collapse. Brown doing a good job getting his feet set, knocking it down, and it is rocking here in Carbondale. First Saluki lead of the night. Williams kicks into the corner. Response Oklahoma State and Hicklin. Third stop, Oklahoma Baptist and UNF of the A-Sun, the Osprey of Jacksonville. Key veteran. Oklahoma State with a lot of new players this year. Hoping to get back to the NCAA tournament. Mass went in 21, only once under Mike Boynton so far. Rupert down low with the finish. His first two. Good job by Brown there. Recognizing that Williams opened up his feet, attacked, gets to the baseline, and the Saluki's forcing a turnover. It's heating up in Carbondale. Southern Illinois has hit its last three. Cowboys five of their last five. And we're all tied. 
we see here Williams opens up his feet gives a straight line drive to Brown Rupert doing a good job making himself available Finishing off at two feet through the contact back to her cut D'Amico from Brown couldn't find a handle D'Amico good hustle and had swat away Marshall off the Oklahoma State bench, but the outlet thrown away Williams to small and it goes right back to the Salukis and That's one of those ones as a coach. You just have to scratch your head you play a good defensive possession What's the rush? You know secure the basketball find small at your own time and pace and then you can push the ball up the floor there's no reason to throw quick outlet passes eight turnovers tonight partner already for Oklahoma State they average just 11 a game a lot of them are unforced too airmail outlet pass back to Johnson you can feel him heating up feel the confidence growing that one Reynolds out from long range other end long three in and out daily good hustle Gets it back, puts it in, Marsh and Daly combo. What a play by Marsh to save Daly the fish with a left. Johnson thought about a long range shot. Davis for Rupert. Good job, Daly there staying down. Xavier Johnson floats through traffic. A couple times he's tried that knifing through. The lame but can't finish off the glass. Thompson's been quiet so far. Team second leading score. Pokes have four and double figures. Entering play tonight. Floats and hits right on cue, Bryce Thompson. That was all set up by Hecklin doing a little bit of a brush screen, causing some confusion for SIU. Opens up the lane for Thompson. And his team picking up that level of detail. You know, all the intricacies that they were talking about as they prepared for this Oklahoma State team. It's a high IQ basketball team, and it starts with Johnson. Johnson leads all scores. Just one field goal. Seven for seven from the line, and nine points in the game tonight. Mr. Automatic from the stripe. Brown, eight on the timer. Three-point ace. Here's Johnson. Looking for double figures. Brown hoists a three. Got another one. Trent Brown, two triples tonight. Once again, it's the slip screen by Brown causing some confusion if you're Oklahoma State You got to talk that out and be decisive with what you do. They left Brown that open open and they paid for it Thompson from the elbow back iron miss Stulich for Johnson on the rebound Johnson step back Got it on the small deep three ball you know, Rhino, it's easier said than done, but if I'm guarding Johnson, I'm making him drive and finish over the top of my trees. That is the one shot I would not want to give up is a pull-up three. Whistle off the ball. Trent Brown picks it up. First foul for him for Southern Illinois. We see here, he shows that he's going right, reads the feet of the defender, backing up. On balance, just a high level shot. 23s on the year for Johnson. Has at least 17 points in every game so far this year. It was raining threes here against Slu in the last game for Southern Illinois. 18 triples, tying a school record for a single game. Spectacular from deep. Won't be as easy tonight against the Big 12 team. Five on the timer for Small. Miss Hicklin, D'Amico hand on it. And Bube, loose change. Here comes SIU and Johnson again. Quickness. Overplay. Small on D'Amico, who has a big foul. And Small has his layup chance erased by Troy D'Amico's foul. It's a good play there by Hicklin. That is challenging to guard a red hot Johnson in transition. A little bit of a drag scene. He did a great job of keeping his feet in front, forcing the ball to the baseline into the dead zone. And Small doing a good job of denying the pass and getting out in transition. Freshman swing man, three star high school recruit from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Connor Dow, first appearance, inbounds play here. Good three point shooter. Marsh for Small. Had that all set. Inbounds play, came from midcourt, trailed, and knocked it down. 
And that's a hard set to guard at the sideline out of bounds where you got small going full steam running without the basketball doing a good job there setting his feet knocking it down when the defense goes underneath folks star shining brightly here foul there keon williams trying to corral xavier johnson not easy small by the way hit all four of his shots from the field Guess who's headed right back to the free throw line? line Xavier line Johnson. And Rhino, it's 93% on the year at man pardon. It's so fun watching two point guards that are talented, that can score, but also don't force the issue. They take what the defense gives them, they play with great pace, they understand their strengths as players, and are just able to get to their spots on the floor. and it's a treat to watch because sometimes you watch scores and you know especially at the point guard position guys will have the ball you know take some four shots with Johnson and small both of those guys are very calm cool and collective on the court and able to kind of dictate the flow of the game trying for nine for nine for the free throw line Wow what were your free throw stats in Northwest were you that good no I was in the high 60s. <laughs> All right, a little different. Smalls fouled. Coast to coast rim run there for Javon Small. Bube trying to keep up with the ultra quick. Javon Small picks up his second. And Small on the free throw line. We had a good chat with him today. Talked about. Look, basketball's basketball. Transferring from East Carolina American Conference. Good hoops there for sure in that league. But yep. Big 12's a different story. And I thought it was so interesting and his chat with us today he said look When I found out I was coming here. I talked with Bryce Thompson. I said all right You want to be the point guard? Or you want to be the shooting guard? Yeah, but I said I want to score. He said good. I want to be the point guard So Javon small perfect role at Oklahoma State and man has that worked out well in the early season Absolutely, and also what coach Boynton said about him extremely humble coming in Wanted to earn his spot. You don't hear a lot in today's basketball guys wanting to earn their spot and earn being the leader and he's done that thus far this season back cut johnson for two what a game so far for xavier johnson seventh lead change already first half entertaining game from carbondale small has been perfect tonight free throws field goals hasn't missed yet thompson up top can't answer abube has the rebound the three rattled out on bryce thompson Johnson put on a show here. Step back three. Oh, not this time. A rare miss. Track down for March. Packed house tonight here in Carbondale. Missouri Valley Big 12. Great non-conference showdown. Saluki's won. On the road and still won last year. Smalls first miss of the night. Gennard Davis, the freshman, has the rebound for SIU. Johnson having to guard Small with two fouls. Best player handling the ball. How much energy that takes shows the level of condition from Johnson. 16 points to lead all scores. Eight on the timer. Bumped by Williams. Leading us to a timeout in Carbondale. See here, Johnson, as lethal of a score as you'll find. But doing a good job there, moving without the basketball. For 93% for the line, and this evening, 10 for 10. It's automatic trick. When you know that you're a great free throw shooter, it just gives you extra motivation to get there, because it's free points. You know, it's hard to score in college basketball, so anytime Oh. You get three points and he jinxed him, Rhino. <laughs> he missed it. You got to document. You got to document. His 38 points, by the way, against James Madison, a career best. Most in Division One this year in a non-overtime game of anybody, any school, any time. How about that? Incredible effort. Jamira Keller, a strong drive. It's good recognition by Keller. I mentioned it before, but Johnson has two fouls, so he can't foul. All he can do is play straight up, driving through the body and getting the finish. Second foul came 16-22 to go in our first half. Has not picked up his third since. Effort, Rupert, looking for a third double-double of the year. Is knocked out of bounds, baseline off of Oklahoma State. 
A tie game tonight. Saluki's keep it. Rupert came into this game averaging 15 over his last two. This is a tough matchup for him. A little bit undersized athleticism of Oklahoma State's bigs. He has to stay engaged and continue to be aggressive, though. A lot of physical mismatches tonight between these two. Brown off a screen. Almost another one. Rupert up high trying to jam in the follow. And it looks like last some interference. It's the big man for SIU. Let's check it out. And that's being engaged right there. I mean, even though it's a goaltend, you see the ball go up, crash the glass right away. Those plays, you oftentimes get rewarded for. It might not show up now, but if you continue to play like that, your time will come. Five ties in the game so far tonight. Even matchup. Hickle the miss this time. Here's Johnson. Ooh, really good passer. Davis watched by down. Offensive foul. First on Kennard Davis Jr. tonight. Tomorrow 3 Eastern, don't miss a Scottish Premiership showdown as Table Toppers Rangers go head to head with Heart of Midlothian right here on CBS Sports Network. Ryan Mullins, big message trade to us today for shooting around points per possession. Yep. Second chance points, he thought. Two big keys tonight. They've been efficient. Another thing is, too, is getting multiple paint touches. Getting multiple drives to the basket. And they've done that thus far tonight. Stops on a bounce. Brown, good overplay. It's out of bounds. 13 of the timer. Two left even. First half clock here from Carbondale. And you can see Garrison is oozing with talent. But on that possession, he had the smaller Brown. you got to carve out position and demand the basketball and understand that that mismatch is there and take it right to him and get the two points. He's 6'11", 245. Yeah. Boy, he's a big guy. McDonald's All-American. Huge top of the list recruit for Mike Point. Great recruiting class. Three on the timer. Thompson from deep. Misses everything. Officially goes down as a shot clock violation against the visitors. Thompson struggling here tonight, 1 of 7 from the field, 0 of 4 from 3, but you know, he's been a guy throughout the course of his career, has a next shot mentality. He truly believes he's going to make his next shot, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a big time second half. No field goals last three and a half minutes here for Southern Illinois. Trying to flip the script on that stat. 190 ticks left, fading first half clock, bump call. Joe Myron Keller, the freshman, picks it up. Coming up on AT&T at the half, Adam Zucker, Chris Walker, John Rostein standing by. Our New York studio. We'll check the speed in all the night's college basketball action. It's all coming up on AT&T at the half. Lots of hoops happening. What a great time of the year. Non-conference in full swing. Conference play. About three weeks away, Trey. Just can't wait for early January when league play starts. And Mike Boynton said to us today, is Johnson having another successful trip to the free throw line. I'll play one of these games a year. Mm -hmm. Now next year, the mega conference Big 12 things could change. 18 teams. Hicklin is back in. But he likes this early season test for his team to get ready for the Big 12. Yeah, it's a unique look, right? To be able to play on the road, hostile environment, and where all the pressure is on you to win the game because you are the power five team. And, you know, I, I salute Coach Boyton. You know, for having the courage to schedule this game against a stiff SIU team. 19 for Johnson. Could be done for the rest of the first half of the two fouls. We'll see. Probably. Thompson, as Trey documented, rough first half so far. Hicklin, the grad student. Third school for him. Ten of the timer. Back in. Garrison. But no finish on the jump hook. That's a great take, though, by Garrison. Two-pound dribbles, goes vertical. It's just one of those ones that goes in and out. He has to continue to do that. Trey Miller, transfer incarnate word. Replaces Johnson. Foul called. 
Trent Brown trying to get free, and it's going to be an offensive foul. Back to 1962-63. Another statement win, potentially, for the Valley here tonight. Saluki's by two. Final 40 ticks, first half from Carbondale. Dave Trey, our entire crew, great to have with us here on CBS Sports Network. Small with Johnson out of the game. Watched by Miller, the sophomore. Small operates. The pick from Garrison. Foul call. Some contact. Looks like Miller off the ball for SIU is the guilty party here. Yep. He and Garrison were battling in a huge physical mismatch for Oklahoma State. Tough call there. Did everything right. Rupert switching out with high hands, not allowing the shot. It's one of those ones that sometimes there's nothing you could do when you have a 6'11 guy down there trying to demand position. Four-star high school recruit. Back iron missing the free throw. D'Amico hand the rebound. It's loose. Taken back by the Pokes. Garrison trying to tip that in off the miss from Jamiron Keller. And Oklahoma State will keep it here with 13.3 to go. First half and the shot clock turned off. Entertaining game tonight so far, Trey. Yeah, both teams competing at a high level. You know, it's just been a war both ends of the floor. Excited for the second half. Iso small. On Davis. Small needs help. Gets it seven to go in the first half. Thompson floats through traffic and lays it in. Tough move there for Bryce Thompson. Miller from three-quarter car. Oh! Just missed it. Last year, one-point road win. Southern Illinois in Stillwater. Cowboys look for revenge tonight. Small was awesome. Half number one for the visitors. First possession. Mike Boynton's Cowboys here. Can Garrison get established? McDonald's All-American. Touch for Small. Buff on Johnson, no whistle, but two for Javon Small. And that's the high basketball IQ. There's a double stagger happening on the weak side. Small doing a good job of attacking the weak side where there's only two other guys and getting a straight line drive to the basket against Johnson, who has two fouls. Small five for six for the field. 14 points. Rupert in the paint. Brown takes a three. Rupert to the basket with a left. Small distributes this time. Daly off the glass, but no finish with a left. Good track down, Kennard Davis. Here comes the home team in a tie game again. Seven ties tonight. Johnson and block. Small. Garrison. Defense. Oklahoma State. Another random mess. Eric Daly from deep. Rupert runs the floor. Gathers. Block. Daly. Recovery spectacular for the freshman. You could tell Rupert is affected by the size and length of Oklahoma State. Second guess that bunny there. Thought he could have put a little bit more on it to fin finish that reverse layup. Knocked out of bounds by Clarence Rupert. Seen here. Great job by Small staying vertical. And then as soon as he sees the ball, he reaches his hand there to get only the ball and not get the hand of Johnson. Quite a defensive play for a guard. That was fantastic. Small, lobs, Garrison gathers and finishes. It's one of those ones you got to have weak side help there if you're the Salukis. Rupert trying to take care of the ball handler and Small. Small doing a good job reading the defense. Keep it. Rupert another round had a take away by Garrison. Daly. Williams up, up and away. Keon Williams. Hammer, dunk, Oklahoma State. And I think that's going to be a key to this game is who can take care of the basketball and get high-quality shots. Saluki's turning the ball over on that last possession.
every coach wants to avoid the pick six. <laughs> that was one. Brown on the red has a response. Fourth leading three point shooter nationally, Trent Brown of Southern Illinois, buries a deep three ball. And the opening field goal, confetti flies from the student section. Tradition here. Now the red, the miss. Thompson. Defensive glass for Rupert. Brown is a threat that can test the defense. Johnson, Rupert for two. Court vision, easy deuce. And once again, weak side help, not present there. Johnson doing a good job of stringing two with them, being patient, finding Rupert for the easy two. 19 points, three assists tonight for Xavier Johnson. Keon Williams of the red, Oklahoma State too strong. Back iron miss, look who's up high for the rebound. It's the star Saluki guard. Davis by himself at the end. His first field goal of the game. And that was a good play there by Thompson. Recognized that he had the shooter and Brown in the... And a true legend here in Carbondale. Johnson has had a spectacular game. 19 points, 12 of 13 from the line. The current star Saluki guard. Small had that blocks. Marsh grabbed it off the OK State bench. And a foul called down low. Rebound battle goes against SIU. Media timeout from Carbondale. What a game tonight. Non-conference Big 12 in the Missouri Valley head-to-head. -head. Oklahoma State was here. That was the last time wow. a power conference team has played in this building in Carbondale. Here again tonight. Daily position foul called down low on D'Amico. Love that call out of the timeout from Boynton. Understanding Miko a little bit undersized at the four. Getting a seal for Daly Jr. Daly Jr. did a good job of carving out some space, creating an angle for that over-the-top pass. And now D'Amico goes to the bench with his third foul. And Bube has three. D'Amico has three. That's a headline for the home team. Daly a bump, offensive foul. Two fouls, Eric Daly. Good job, Stulich, to draw the charge. Agree? Absolutely. Understanding that Daly is a good left hand driver, beating him to the spot, selling a little bit, putting his body on the line for his team. Remember, Xavier Johnson at his second foul with about 16 25 to go, first half has not committed a foul since. Amazing. Stulich fades away for two. How about that footwork there by Stulich? Comes off the ball screen. Thompson is trailing him, lets him pass by him, spins around, gets the nice pull up jump shot. Smooth. Small step back over Johnson. Wow. Right on cue. Third three ball of the game for Javon Small. The degree of difficulty to come off a double drag, full speed, come to a stop, step back, go into your left. It's a great play by a great player. Ends a 10-0 Saluki run. 17 for Small, including three threes. Johnson baseline, gets free. Perfect space creation and the easy finish for two. And just taking his time, coming off the screen, recognizing that there's a switch, backs it out, and just gets to his strong right hand for the pull-up. He's got 21. Williams at the rim. The seize part for Keon Williams. And unfetter, he's got two to the 10. Both of these guards do a really good job of dragging the defense out, drawing two the, for them, and then that creates advantages on the weak side. He's got 10. Johnson, other end. Short on three. Williams tracked down rebound. So Williams and Small double figure scores for the visitors from Stillwater tonight. Thompson for March. Mismatch with Stulich. Baseline blocked. And Bube, the help and the swat defensively for Southern. 
And that's something that they worked on and shoot around. When there's post up, especially with March, having that baseline help and support. Bube doing a good job of getting over there, going vertical and getting the block. First rejection of the night for the home team. Yeah, Bube to the bench for now. Rupert returns. Seven to shoot for Thompson. Checks the timer with five. Overs to it short. And Xavier Johnson in his own lane, defensive rebound. Ultra quick step back, declines this time. Then the cut, then the spin for two! And Xavier Johnson! Spectacular for Southern Illinois! How about that? They ice the ball screen, he gives it up, back door, spin off the big, little bit of English. Find me a better point guard in the country than Xavier Johnson. Small for Daly. An air ball long, never hit the rim. Williams, weak side rebound. Back for Daly, a block call. Stulich, incredulous. Stulich doing a really good job. Closing out short, understanding that Daly hasn't made a three. He's a capable shooter. He closes out short on the weak side. Once again, puts his body on the line. Just wasn't quite there, but still a good foul. Daly out. Jamiron Keller, freshman. St. Matthew, South Carolina is in for Oklahoma State. And small inbounds. Mars the veteran. Older presence in the post for the Cowboys. Handles here, eight on the timer. Keller bumped by the lane, and a foul on Rupert. How about this? Cutting back door, great body control, spinning off a of Marsh. You see it again here. Now, understanding that he didn't have the lane going to his right, changing directions quickly, getting the fancy two. Nick won the handle. Saluki's 14 foul, second half. Small on three. Follows! And the hammer comes up short on the missed three. Talk about extreme athleticism. That was amazing. Brown in the corner. Four, three. Trent Brown, he's got four. How about Johnson getting into the lane, finding his shooter, playing off of two feet. Help side comes. Brown doing what he does best. Largest Saluki lead of the night. Johnson harassing the high post pick and causes the tie up. Ball goes to SIU. This place is rocking. We've got a timeout in Carbondale. Trent Brown for three. Electrifies the building. Coach Mullins is a great leader. Very detail oriented. He has a veteran group so that, you know, you can pick up a lot of those details and play a lot of different ways. Stulich by himself, top of the key, left alone, declines the shot. Oklahoma State led 40-36, 17-5, Saluki runs since. Johnson trying to add him, that does! It's just too easy for Xavier Johnson. This man is balling tonight! And if you're Marsh, even though you're in the zone, when he comes off of that ball screen, you have to be up and try to force him to finish over the top of you. 25 for Johnson. Foul call. This against Southern Illinois. On the drive to the basket from Keller. You can see Oklahoma State desperately needs another guard right now to emerge as a threat to go along with Small. Whether it's Hicklin from three, Williams getting downhill, but really it's Thompson. And Thompson is a guy that's capable of, even after a slow start, to kind of get going because as a shooter and as a scorer, you have a, sh a really short memory. 
Been quiet tonight. Two and ten from the field for Rice Thompson, a key player we talked about. Top of the broadcast. There's a foul. Johnson does get his third. Challenges Connor Dow on the inbounds play. And Xavier displeased, but how about agreement? That was a ball. Let's see here. Yeah, that's, that's two guys going for the basketball. It's a loose ball, in my opinion. It could have gone either way. First foul since 16 25 ago, first half when he got his early two. Thompson answers with a nice bucket. Badly needed for Oklahoma State. Raucous packed house tonight here in Carbondale. Still. A bit upset about that call against Xavier Johnson. Brown four for four from three tonight. Has been a great secondary score behind this guy. Just to get to the basket, looking for the and one bumped. And will go to the free throw line. And we know what happens when he gets to the free throw line. Yeah, automatic from the line, but one of the things that Johnson does, we see here, getting the switch on Hicklin, is like he almost plays like an NBA player in terms of trying to get the matchup that he wants. He understands that Williams is a really good defender. So what does he do? He has another guard come set a screen for him. And then Hicklin, who is not as higher of a level defender as Williams, and then he can take advantage of that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Shocking miss at the free throw line for Johnson. The grad student from the Baltimore area has got one more. We had a nice chat with Xavier today after the team shoot around. And he said he sat down with Brian Mullins in the offseason. Now, look, our key players gone from last year Marcus Damask, Lance Jones transferring to Big Ten schools. He's the man now. He's comfortable with that role. His career best had been seven and a half points a game before this season. That's incredible. What a story. For SIU this year. Rattled corner three. Badly needed for Keller. Ticklin. That's what Oklahoma State needs. They need Thompson to get downhill and create opportunities and Hicklin to knock down threes. Johnson to the other end. Short on a three. And Dow cruises in for the defensive glass for Oklahoma State. See, I thought Thompson should have went on that one. Get the drag from Marsh. You've gotten downhill a couple times. Why not do it again? Now the defense pick. is set. Left of the paint. Thompson misfires. You're right. You have the numbers. You got to go. Especially when you're cold, right, as a shooter. And he's been in a rut the last couple games since returning from the knee injury. Another thing that Rupert wasn't ready to play ball screen defense in transition. Illegal pick. Stulich picks up a foul. That is a tough one right there. I thought Stoolidge was set. And the crowd letting us know about it as well. Displeased to say the least. Small back in. Mike Point needs production in a hurry. Hickman, the grad student, hit a three a moment ago. Has another. Back to back jacks for Jarius Hicklin. You see, Rhino, that's huge because as Hicklin knocks down threes, that's going to open up the lane for Small and Thompson down the stretch because now you can't help off of him. 6 0 run. Both thanks to Jarius Hicklin for Oklahoma State. Two man game, Rupert gathers. Marsh watches him. Foul call, Clarence Rupert. Well, shoot some free throws here for the Salukis. Saturday, three Eastern, get ready for one of college football's most storied rivalries. Army and Navy faced off in must see regular season finale on CBS and streaming live on Paramount Plus. This year from Gillette, home of the Patriots in the Boston area. Last year, first ever overtime game in the series history. Won by Army. Nothing like an Army Navy. Nothing like college basketball tonight from Carbondale. We're in for a scintillating finish here tonight. Rupert misses the second free throw.
small the pick for Marsh. You get the double drag there, and then you have the four switching out on you. See if Small takes advantage. Jump hook. Off the mark with a right from Marsh. Needed for the redshirt senior. Johnson through traffic. Reverse layup for two. That was sweet. And it was the high pickup. There was a little bit of an opening in that window where two guys, you pick it up high so that no one can reach in and steal it. Johnson getting through and finishing it. The nation's fourth leading score, 23.1 points a game coming in, 28 tonight. Another spectacular effort for Xavier Johnson. Williams can't get a roll. On a good look and a good half-court set for the Cowboys. Seven of 15 from the floor for Johnson tonight. Marsh gives that to Rupert. Johnson needs help. Brown for D'Amico. Bumped on the way to the basket. Foul call on Jarius Hickman. Leading us to a timeout in Carbondale. Johnson's been the man, Trey, so far. Getting it done in transition with the high. There's 38 points in Cancun against JMU, the most scored for an SIU player in a long time. Rupert inbound for two, the set and the finish for Clarence Rupert. Great play out of the timeout there by Mullins. You get a little big screen where the point guard is setting the screen for the big man. Normally it's the opposite way around. A lot of guards aren't used to guarding that action. Response again for Hicklin, who's been money from three. He's got four, four out of six from deep. For Jarius Hicklin of Oklahoma State. Right back in the game, down by five. Here's Brown, 10 of the timer. Johnson, step back, top of the key. Over Garrison, not this time. Rupert offensive rebound. Right low block, fresh 20 here for the home team. That was big. Johnson fires. Here's Davis. Too strong. Keon Williams up high for the defensive glass for the folks. Southern Illinois scored 61 last year in Stillwater, won it by one. Already reached that number here tonight. Thompson trying to get going. Front iron, Davis, and on it, Corrales. Tough night for Bryce Thompson again. 3 of 13 from the field. 0 for 5 from deep. Can Johnson get to 38 points again? We'll see. Brown up top. First miss from three. It's a big one. Tracked down in the corner for Williams. It's another good set there where you get Davis on the post. You sent a triple stagger screen. It's one of those ones that Brown normally knocks down. To the basket of the challenge. And free throws coming up. You know, Rhino, I think for Oklahoma State, the best offense is playing against an unset defense. They have had success in those kind of late transition situations as we see Small with the strong attack drawing the foul, but I think the more that they can play against unset defenses, which can be challenging at times at the end of the games because the natural inclination is to slow the tempo down. But I think if you're Coach Boynton, if you're one of these guards for Oklahoma State, you want to keep that tempo up and try to get some of those early drags in transition and let your athleticism do the talking. 18 for Small, partner to lead the way here for Oklahoma State, been quite in the second half. Big numbers from the line. He's from South Bend, Indiana. Was not recruited, he told us today, the first time through by the Fighting Irish. Went to East Carolina. Goes in the portal. There was some interest, but he loved the fit with Mike Boynton at Oklahoma State and the role he'd have with this year's Cowboys. So he said no to his hometown team. And that had to be hard. But he played against Notre Dame at Barclays in the early season MTE. Played a lot of his former AU teammates, he told us today. He said that was awesome. Wanted to beat him badly, but... They lost that one overtime. 
Johnson for Rupert. Davis, two-man game, Rupert, blocked! Foul called Daly up high for the SWAT, but got somebody. And Eric Daly commits the foul. As we see here, Rupert with this strong take. But what I love is the fact that Rupert is playing off of his guards, right? He caught the ball in the free throw line area. He could have easily tried to go one on one when he caught it the first time. But then he went to the second side, got into a ball screen with Davis. Oklahoma State tries to ice it. He cuts hard to the rim, gets the pass, and draws the foul. Last two games, 30.17 boards, five blocks for Rupert. Transfer from St. Peter's. Rattles in the second. Battle of back injury in the fall. Coach Mullins told us they were about 75% with their roster. A lot of guys hurt. Summer fall injuries. And until they had some scrimmages, they really weren't 100% in terms of their full roster. This is how you develop in a game like this, though. What an opportunity. Miss Hickel this time. Stick back. And two points for Keller. Great play there by Keller. Not just standing, he's not involved in the action at all. The plays for Hicklin, shot goes up. Xavier Johnson sleeping on the weak side, just getting the rebound, finishing over the top. 14 offensive rebounds, season best for the Cowboys so far. Johnson the take, no roll, but the basket interfered with, and that'll count for two for Xavier Johnson. Up to 30 points tonight. One of the things that Slukies do a good job is they have a lot of window dressing actions. So we see here a little bit of a goaltend, but they have a lot of movement on the weak side, and then the help side is not set, so that gives the lane open for Johnson to get downhill. Small trying to create. Watched by Davis. Here's Daly. Every possession key now. Small Euro step by D'Amico for two. That was special. How about the control? Changing directions. A little bit of a Euro step to go around D'Amico. And a tough finish with the left hand going off the left foot. 21 for Javon Small. Back to a one possession game. Johnson again challenges Daly for two. 32 points for the nation's fourth leading scorer, Xavier Johnson. If you're Daly, you got to send him left. Know the scouting report. Johnson Hasn't loves happened to yet, drive partner. right. <laughs> Here's Small. Challenged by Rupert. Into the corner. Out of bounds. Lol, we'll take a breath. Not going in, but I also felt that Garrison had extended time with his hand on the rim. All right, so 64-62. And Oklahoma State gets a chance to regroup. Here's Hicklin, has been awesome second half. Thinking three ball, top of the key. That one rattles out. Kennard Davis, a battle for the rebound. And the fight continues on the floor with Garrison. There is want to and emotion tonight from both sides. Good job by both respective leading guards stepping in, keeping the temperature cool as it was a little bit heated in that loose ball situation. Season best offensive rebounds. The O glass, as Brian Mullins told us today, would be so important to try to. Stave off tonight against Oklahoma State. Small floats. Can't click. Garrison offensive rebound. Never got to the rim. Eight to shoot for Small. Pulls up from three. Can't click. D'Amico rebound. Way off there for Javon Small. Johnson the pick from Brown. Once again, has the switch with Hicklin. Xavier Johnson, step back. 
way off. Thud, a miss. Garrison, weak side defensive glass for Oklahoma State. And a chance to tie or take the lead here. Just over two to go in regulation. Back and forth game from Carbondale. Lob, Garrison gathers, can't finish. Second crack at it, he's got it. It's just the pace that small plays in the pick and roll. Kind of changes pace, comes off slow, finds the big man. Good job by Garrison following up his miss. Ninth tie tonight. First time since it was 36 all, we're knotted up here. And we're brewing up a good finish from Carbondale timeout, Southern Illinois. Today, who knows when we'll have a chance to face a power team like this again. An opportunity for SIU fan base players. All tied. Johnson short. And Keon Williams has the rebound. Here comes Oklahoma State. The one more in the corner blocks. D'Amico soars out and swats Jamira. 23 on the timer. Small has 21 points tonight. He and Hicklin. Steal. Johnson. Xavier Johnson for two. Johnson recognized that they were trying to isolate Brown. He shoots the gap, gets the steal, and a great finish on the other hand. Under a minute left, regulation. Small bump by Davis, no whistle. Rebound to Mako. There's a foul first, though, on the way to the basket. Tremendous free throw shooter, third best in the Big 12. Perfect. Calm, cool, and collected is the way to describe him after our meeting with him this morning. Just a mature kid. Another guy that's built for this moment. Gets a roll, rattles and falls. And here's the thing, Rhino, if you're Oklahoma State, you still have one foul to give. So if you get beat on anything, you can take that foul and it's sideline out of bounds. Johnson, through traffic, leaves it. Rupert, had it blocked. Garrison, rejection, 15 on the timer. 37 in the second half remaining here. All tied. Here's Johnson again. Can't get the roll. Rupert and one. Clarence Rupert. Wow. People probably forget Rupert was a part of that St. Peter's Sweet 16 run. Excuse me, Elite 8 run. He is primed for these moments as well. Great play there. Hasn't had a lot of opportunities to play one on one to get post ups. But when it matters most, doing the dirty work, getting the offensive rebounds, he had missed that same shot in transition. That reverse layup with the right hand, finishing at that time, and the free throw. Hits the free throw for possession game. We might just see a court storm over here. Got to go quick here for Oklahoma State. Small. Shot clock turned off. 15 seconds left. Garris in the backhand. Kick out. Thompson a block by D'Amico. What a play, Troy D'Amico. Whoa, wait a minute, we have a foul. We have a foul. Seven for seven from the line tonight for Small. This to make it a one-point game. Hits it. Sixty-nine, sixty-eight. Ten point nine to go, and a timeout. Game and live with that. The free throws and the ball. Here we go. Cowboys down one. Here's Small with seven seconds, drives in, doesn't get a roll. Rebound for Williams at three seconds. Shot, side of the backboard. Rebound, Davis. Southern Illinois, gonna win this one. 69, 68, Southern.
or make it and make it 70-68. There's the intentional miss. There's the game. It's official now. 